You and me, we got this. Fuck yeah! Welcome, welcome! Please ignore my son. Hey, bounty hunter, if my son says anything that offends you, uh, let me know. I don't care if I offend this piece of shit, Gublo. Jorb, how could you say such a thing? I'm so sorry, Bounty. Why is this taking so long? Thanks. God, I hate giving this stuff up. You better treat that purchase like it's Christine Aguilera. Ah, looking for more alien cum, are you? Well, I'm sorry. I'm fresh out of alien cum right now. We sell out early sometimes. I got to go restock my supply, and that's not so easy, trust me. But give me a little bit, and I'll have plenty more. I promise. I just, I just need some recovery time. All right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More, more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Klug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh shit, another Gatlian. That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer. A scientist named Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way, and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Bounty Hunter, it's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Okay. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Right, well, okay, well, I figured it out. This thing's yeah. fucking useless. Yeah. Thanks, Most Gene. Fun. Power sliding. Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. Am I what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is, but <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. What? Why do you care? If you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches, and yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh, well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it, I promise. At the breaking of 
worked on, they made plans for the day. Some breakfast and now. Like that for a while. Yeah, Vanny Hunter, want to do some perfectly legal Hey, business? uh, hey, tough guy, we're, we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got, you got any leads? Slick, what the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. Get over it, fucker. Oh, What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off. Hard way that Quick, you, uh, the drug guys. Uh, no! I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the sea. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? Don't go. Don't go. I want to talk. I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? What do you mean you like it? How you doing? Like, with your weird interrogation? Awful! Annoying! I wish you'd stop! Ooh, bummer. They were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my censors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time. Let's look for somebody else. Hey, uh, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you. But Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. It's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Well, sure. Yeah, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so uh, how about no? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Holy shit, wow. You, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woohoo. That was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blordo and mention Michael Taint. Yo, Bounty Hunter, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. Hey, what's up, Lordo? You know anything about a, a, a where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What, why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, buster. That piece of shit! I'm gonna kill him! Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight launches tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here! If anyone sees me talking here, I'm dead! Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detectives! That was an S-rank interrogation! This is really uncomfortable. I mean, I, I like having sex with Mike most times, but this is just weird. Weird like comedy is weird? Like, you know. Hey, this is my favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging around. Shit, thank you. Woo! Okay, so we're looking for this new high on oh, life yeah, store. Hey, hey, Hopefully yeah. the slums are a little uh, more chill now that we took out Nine Torque. Nobody wants oh, to talk fucking god damn it! The group of Somebody, please. Somebody, if you don't mind. The end of this end. This is it, I'm gone. Oh, Did you disappear? Oh, yeah! Hey. Refreshed, you want to use my block shot? He's really depressed, and I don't want to take for the water. 
Doing a power slide. Look at you. this hard come on let's, let's get to this high on life place not gonna let me take a break huh such a rush to. Ah, gentrification. A classic. Oh, now it's hip. Oh, now it's hip to live down here in the sludge, huh? That's a beautiful slide. That is just the most amazing slide I've ever seen in my life. That is a beautiful slide.
life store. The rules do not apply to the law. I can scream real, real, real loud. This is not screaming. Welcome to High On Life Store number 7923, your local Hyperbong Superstore. Please, no traveling of other patrons during the midnight launch. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit. That's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before, but I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop proof case for your hyperbong? High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. Ooh, boy, they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Uh, 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 hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick, and I can be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Uh oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 midnight launch, and we literally just opened. So uh, I've only been here for like half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Illegal? No, 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 no not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about, high on life Hyperbongs, are the only way to get that fixed. Woo, these are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation. You're doing great. But you do get a D ranking because that one sucked. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Huh? Nah, uh, 
think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. Oh, man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I, I'm, I'm kind of a fuck-up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is, and you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where it don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, he's only got one good threat, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this, got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? I don't some space, space. Space. Please, please, please touch me again. I need it. Holy shit, what, what the fuck? Was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Oh, you can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like morally, he was very fucked up. Bad morals? Shouldn't have been friends with him, really. Not really a good idea. I don't know really why I liked him so much. Yeah, that's fine. You can totally take those back boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are gonna be very useful and... and Good use of those mag boots. Using those things way better than David Gluten ever did. Look at you! Criminal fuck! Hey, well, don't shoot the hookah. That's probably somebody's pet. Shit, they just keep coming!
Holy dipshit, I've been itching to get back in the game. You know, your holster's not as much fun as you might think. Treasure? Is he talking to us? Come on! There's some good treasure over here! I'm not lying to you. I'm just trying to help you find some treasure. Hell oh, yeah! Now. You found the treasure. It wasn't very hard to find, was it? Aren't you glad you listened to me? What's in there? What did you get? Actually, wait. Don't tell me. I don't want to be disappointed. I just hope you enjoy it.
us or, 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 or at all? Toxic shit. Welcome back. We've got company. Hello there. You guys again? No worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little walk trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's, let's go talk to Clug. So? You gonna step through the portal door and go see Clug or what? Sorry about that. Clug asked if he could send them over. I didn't know they'd be so weird. So, how are you like in detective mode? Pretty cool, huh? Honestly, it's a little annoying. I'm glad I could help. Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with... Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we, that's what we want to do, you know, but uh, it's just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh, no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just kick the door down, burst our way in there, find him, grab him by the neck. Hey, hey, hey. I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, we will do our best. Vamoose, you goose. Thanks for helping our dad. We love our dad, Clug. They're my kids, yeah. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Good boys, too. You're doing great work. I caught one of those human movies recently. The Godfather. Holy moly, Stromboli, that movie was good. Bam, boom, Francis Ford Coppola. He's back, baby. Make like a tree and get out. This is where our dad works. 
He's a really hard worker. Someday all this will be ours. But not soon. He should only live and be well. What are you doing waiting here? Get out of here! Find us that fucking Dr. Giblets piece of shit. There you go. Magistrate Clug came through. He pointed us right to Dr. Giblets. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. Broke his crown. And Jill can come after. At night, when the mask is off, I look at myself. I may make the world think I'm happy, but I can't hide the truth to myself. Whatever happens, I must go on acting, acting, acting. <laughs> Bounty Hunter, you look hungry. Let me help you out. There's my favorite bounty hunter! No problem. And Jill came tumbling after. Gary and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. At night, when the mask is off, I look at myself. I may make the world think I'm happy, but I can't hide the truth of myself. Whatever happens, I must go on. And Jill came tumbling after. At night, when the mask is off, I look at myself. I may make the world think I'm happy, but I can't hide the truth to myself. Whatever happens, I must go on acting, acting, acting. Be a polyachola. <laughs> 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 